Hi everybody and welcome back to Vibing with Bonnie. This is episode 2 and today we're going to be making a healthy carrot cake trifle. So, uh, I have celiac disease which means gluten intolerant, so carrot cake and trifle, both things I really love, I can no longer have. Um, my father actually though at Christmas time made me my own little mini bowl of trifle, uh, which was basically everything he normally puts in it, but minus the flan base because obviously unfortunately contains wheat. So fingers crossed. Uh, this Christmas we managed to find like a gluten-free base. So if any of you know any stores that do one, let me know because uh, I'd be really look forward to doing that at Christmas time and I'd maybe even do like a wee video on it about making a gluten-free trifle. But yeah, today we're going to be making a carrot cake trifle. So I've got all my ingredients right in front of me because I didn't want to be uh, taking up too much of your time. So the first step is to grate carrot, which you can see I've already done because I didn't, like I said, I don't want to take up too much of your time. Um, it would not be very fun watching me grate four carrots for like five minutes. Um, so the next step is basically just to get all our other ingredients and mix them up because we've just put these aside now. So our first ingredient, let me just check my recipe. I don't want to mess anything up. First time making my own trifle, so I'm a bit worried. So um, in the recipe it says yellow raisins. I couldn't get a hold of yellow raisins unfortunately. However, I do have free raisin mix, which does actually funnily enough include yellow raisins, <laughs> um, but they didn't have any in the store of just yellow raisins. So, you know, sometimes you just gotta go with what you can get. So I went for the three raisin mix because it was closest to what the recipe said. And it is just five tablespoons of these today. So once you, once you get all the ingredients, um, you're supposed to put them into a food processor. Now my food processor is at my mum's, so I'm just using my blender, which I luckily have two bottles for, um, which is good because I need to use both of them. One for like the sort of like the crumbly base of the trifle and the other one for the nice creamy bit with the Greek yogurt. I can't wait to get to that bit. So it's five tablespoons of these. So one. As you can see, you've got some yellow raisins in there. Although it says gold raisins from the pack, I'm not too sure if there's a difference. I'm, I can assume there's not, because um, when I did Google yellow raisins, they look like gold raisins. So I, I might be wrong, so I'm sorry if, I, um, if they're actually golden and the yellow ones are different, but they look the same to me. <laughs> I, I'm not a raisin expert, unfortunately. So the next bit is two tablespoons of walnuts. It's a lot of tablespoons. Uh, I don't, yeah, there's no teaspoons uh, of anything in this recipe. I always make sure to double check because so many times I've messed up recipes because I've put tablespoons in and not teaspoons is <laughs> bad. That's why I'm trying to like improve my cooking in the kitchen. And that's actually one of the reasons I started the YouTube channel is to sort of, you know, uh, cook different things, try different skills and help you guys hopefully too. So it's just two tablespoons of these. I should have really moved my carrots aside, I'm getting everything on them. So one, two, then three tablespoons of almonds. The almonds are here. I quite like almonds. I got um, the flaked almonds, uh, so I thought they'd be a bit easier to sort of blend rather than the ones since it's I mean, there's not much difference, I don't think, in a blender and a food processor. I know, like, food processors usually just have the two blades, um, whereas blenders have the four, but I don't know how much of a difference there is. So, one, double checking, yes, yeah, three. There's so many tablespoons in this, I don't want to, like, put the wrong amount of things in. So, two, and three. I'll show you guys so far. So that's our raisins, our walnuts, and our almonds. So the next one is maple syrup. I quite like maple syrup, it's nice on pancakes, um, which I also can't have. <laughs> uh, well, that's actually not true. Um, I can have the ones that we do for the company, which is actually, funnily enough, using one of the ingredients I'll show you in a sec, uh, which is our shake mix. You can actually make waffles and you can also make pancakes and brownies and stuff out of our shake mix. So it's really versatile, which is really good. Because some people aren't shake people and that's totally fine. Um, it's nice to have pancakes and that's a nice wee difference. 
I should have taken the lid off this before I uh, went and done this video but oh well you know you love and you learn hopefully I'll get better with my videos with time so it's just three of these one I don't want to be too generous with the maple syrup because it's obviously very very sweet which is fine for me but I know not everyone likes theirs really sweet so that's three of those and then we've got one tablespoon of cinnamon uh where did I put my cinnamon I swear I thought I had everything on the bunker but obviously not in, my, in the background mine, you guys will probably see um, some of my other Juice Plus products which is our shake mix uh, our chocolate shake mix and our premium capsule and our boosters. The boosters they cut um 25% off your calorie intake, so you take them half an hour before your dinner. So they're really good for that. The premium capsules, um if you're if you're someone who doesn't really like eat their fruit and veg, they're really good for that. because uh, it's just like dried fruit and veg, but you can get them into your system and you don't have to taste it. I like mixing them in with my shakes though, so I usually do taste it. But just a tiny wee bit, because um I usually like, <laughs> overload my smoothies and stuff with it. Uh, like bananas and raspberries so that overpowers like the taste of like the vegetable capsule for example sorry guys that was just my, my uh, washing machine making me sound so cinnamon so it's one tablespoon of this probably should have put this in first because now it's probably going to stick to the spoon because of the maple syrup no it actually worked got a wee bit still left on Perfect. And then one tablespoon of vanilla. Now the recipe is not clear if it is ground vanilla or if it is um, just like vanilla extract. I got vanilla extract because I could not find any like, because I know you get like sort of like the, the ground uh, vanilla coffee beans. I don't know if it's that. Uh, I should have done more research into it but I really really want to make this today and uh, our food shopping game today so I had to order it last night so I just went with the vanilla extract. So just one tablespoon of that. Which is also quite sort of sweet. Right. Yes, so that's all the ingredients for that bit, and then we just have to mix up, and then we can do the fun part, uh, which is like the yogurt base, and then we just have to put it all together into a nice, nice, um, a nice glass. I'm gonna see if I've got a nice glass. Pretend to. Um, I don't want to put in something boring. I mean, I'll go for a bowl if there's nothing really pretty, but I like to, you know, it's nice to have a bit of decoration. So that's that done. Now this is gonna be really really noisy so I do apologize. I will try and um, edit out the sound as best as I can. Um, I'm still working on my editing. I need to find like a really good app so if I've got any like experienced YouTubers or editors out there can you suggest an app to me? Because I'm just getting my channel started uh, so I've not really found out what the best sort of one is. Um, I know like a lot of like popular YouTube channels have like got like they've got an editor who does their stuff and that and um, hopefully one day in the future I'll be able to do that too uh, like I know how Markiplier's got Lexian and he's got all his other uh, awesome editors as well so hopefully I'll be able to do that in the future but for now it's just gonna be me editing it I might get my dad to see because he's quite good with like computers and that I might see if he's good at editing it but yes yeah, so let's get this nice and mixed up I'll see if I can put music over this bit, maybe. You just don't have to hear it. So, that worked. That actually worked. <laughs> it's nice and crumbly. Perfect! So, just give that a wee bit of a pat down. And yeah, that's quite crumbly. You can't really see it. It's all sort of like stuck to the top. I'm gonna have to scrape it down when I actually put it into the glass. Right. So the next bit is fold the carrots in through that into that mix. So just grab some of the carrot. I feel like I grated too much carrot. It says four medium carrots. Uh, oh, I meant to say that actually. It's four medium carrots when uh, for when you're like grating and stuff. Um, but I think I put. I think I might have put a bit much in. I did use carrot. I did use four carrots, but um, just maybe a wee bit too much. Should probably be doing this next bit in a bowl. It's fine. We'll get there. Do -do -do. 
and then the next bit is our yogurt and our juice plus uh, shake mix so i'm going to be using the vanilla one for this but we also do a chocolate one um which is really good like i said we can make berries and stuff with it and uh, i might end up doing a live on that one day um on my facebook or i'll do a youtube for youtube video um i might do both it's fine it's fun to like uh, use the different platforms for stuff because facebook's originally when i sort of started off and um, like start reaching out from a business but now i've been in the business uh, since september of 2020 so now i'm trying to like mix up my platforms and uh, reach more more people and do some more sort of fun stuff yeah i should probably do this next bit in a bowl because <laughs> it's all stuck okay we'll come back to this bit because you have to fold the carrots and that into it but i think i've i think i've added too much carrot and I should probably put that into a bowl. So we'll come back to that bit. <laughs> and for now, we'll move on to my favourite part, which is the Greek yogurt and the Juice Plus powder mixed together. Like, it'll be quite nice because I like to put uh, Greek yogurt into my shakes uh, just to make them really thick. I like my milk cakes super thick. I know some people like them more like milky, but I like mine really thick. So for this next bit it says to use two cups um, of Greek yogurt. I actually bought two of these tubs, but I didn't realize how big they were going to be. Um, so I'm just going to use one full tub of it. So it is, just so I can get it, 500 grams of lovely Greek yogurt. So I'll just scoop it in because it's super thick. Sort of like cottage cheese. That's the only way I can describe the texture. I don't even want to come off the spoon. Okay, we might have to go and get a knife to get this off our spoon and actually into the blender. Oh, it's starting to come off. Yeah, I'm gonna just. I'm gonna grab something to scrape it in with. A fork's probably a better idea. There we go. You'll see me sort of moving off camera. I'm just literally trying to get this yogurt in. For anyone um, who's seen my tattoo sort of like showing it's a Star Wars one. I had wanted it for absolutely ages and now I've decided I'm going to get like a sort of sleeve on this arm. So I'm going to go for really geeky stuff. I'm thinking of getting like TIE Fighters and that, fighting down it uh, with the Millennium Falcon and some Star Wars characters and characters from other shows I like. And um, my top is a present I got from my mum and it's from The Boys which is absolutely amazing. It's on Amazon Prime for anyone who's not seen it. Um, definitely not a kids show. <laughs> um, I know it's got superheroes in it but definitely not something you should watch with your kids. Uh, it's really really funny though, it's absolutely amazing and oh, it's honestly just it's so funny. Like, I literally cannot wait for the next season uh, to come out. Because the cast is just amazing, like the people who play the superheroes and the people who play the boys uh, and the awesome female um, as well. But yeah, I'm so excited for that. I also watched the first episodes, um, the first two episodes of WandaVision today and absolutely amazing. I absolutely love it. It's so good. Um, I'm gutted it was only two episodes. <laughs> watched the first two and I was like, alright, okay, let's watch some more. My dad's like, no, that's that's it for this week. Um, which is rubbish. <laughs> but it's fine, because loads of my TV shows, loads of TV shows I watch are coming back now. Um, almost finished Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I think it's the next two episodes make up the finale. And I'm really not, I really don't want it. I don't want it to end. Uh, I've been a huge fan of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I actually have to say it's probably one of my favourite um, TV shows ever. The character development and like just everything about the show i've never ever watched an episode of agent shield and went oh that was rubbish like um you know what we're thinking i've always watched it and always been absolutely blown out of the water with it and you know it's got like superheroes and stuff who doesn't want to see superheroes i'm just gutted that the mcu never sort of took advantage of bringing the characters um to the films but you know fingers crossed that'll happen in the future because obviously colson started off in the movies and then moved into agent shield and yeah just so much crazy stuff has happened so i'm gutted that that's ending but you know fingers crossed that when uh, they do Doctor Strange and the multiverse we get to see some of these characters brought back in 
uh, especially Chloe Bennett as Quake. She's absolutely phenomenal as a character and Quake is actually now one of my favourite superheroes. Um, she's just badass. She's just awesome. So, yes, now what you've all been waiting to see is the Just Plus Vanilla Powder. So this, like I said, you can make shakes, brownies, pancakes with it. The, the options are endless and I actually have dropped the link to my website and um, I will be dropping it below in this video but it's also below in my first video as well if you guys want to go check it out. Uh, if you ever want anything I'll be your rep and uh, you get one to one with myself throughout the, your whole plan and you also get access to our VIP group. And it's honestly just an amazing business guys. It's helped me both physically and mentally. Uh, I originally joined as a customer back in June of 2020 and you know I was just sort of because in lockdown like I'd put on uh, quite a bit of weight so I just wanted to lose some weight and then in September um, my upline who got me started on the products I actually asked me if I wanted to jump onto an opportunity call that's a great thing about the business as well um, you get like a job opportunity with it so it's not just oh like but yeah you're a customer that's it like you there's actually a job opportunity available for everyone um, for even people who are like don't start off as a customer, you can just jump on the call, see if it's for you. So if any of you guys ever want to jump on the first call, it's Monday and a Wednesday at eight pm. Just drop me a wee comment below or a message, and I'll get you on that. I've already got two amazing girls on my team, and I'd love to love to get more of you on. Uh, girls and boys, by the way, it's not just girls in our business. There is also what lovely gentlemen. Right, so I can. It's fine. I can fix the fix the carrots off in a minute because we'll be doing the decorating. But first I've got to mix this. It's gonna wipe some of the excess. <laughs> some of the um, Greek yogurt spilled out a wee bit. There we go. Perfect. Let's spin this. I did not realise how long this video was gonna be. I was like yeah I'll just nip on and it won't take long. I didn't want to take up too much of your time. Um, That's mixed, I'll double check for now. Yeah. So that's us got both our parts. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna pause this and I'm gonna put it in to um into a nice glass to show you the final product. So I'll edit both these halves together and sorted out all my dishes, got them out of the way, and put all my ingredients together. So here is the finished product. So we've got our carrot cake base crumbly bit down the bottom we've got our nice creamy top and then it topped it with some flaky almonds it says chopped almonds but flaky chopped same thing i think so uh yeah thank you so much for joining me guys and i hope you uh, liked that tutorial let me know if you guys have a go at making it and um, maybe like comment some photos um yeah so Thank you so much for joining me guys until the next time i do fingers crossed i am hoping to get my reaction to the season two mandalorian up next um but i was trying to bring, figure out a way to like put my reaction with uh, the video obviously using fair use um if anyone's got any suggestions on apps we could use that'd be really helpful um but yeah thanks so much guys i am so so sorry that this took a lot longer than i thought it was uh, I'll maybe I'll sort of like be more prepared next time like make sure like the lids off my maple syrup and stuff um, But yeah, cart trifle the healthy health boss way Catch us all later guys. Keep vibing <laughs>